Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansu, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, and entertainment. When we give you guys a fresh perspective on things, and I wish you man. Today we have a very interesting show uh, in store for you guys. But before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into this topic here. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit more about the Lakers. Finally, the NBA season is pretty much on this, uh, you know about to start up we're now beginning to hear from players and coaches the media days are beginning to commence uh and then next week i think we're going to have uh preseason games if i'm not mistaken the end of next week if i'm not mistaken we shall see uh and with that comes a plethora of sound bites and that's exactly what we have here today just uh today a, a, a show was published from the low post podcast by zach Lowe on from from espn and he has special guests in the house J.J. Reddick. Y'all know J.J. Reddick has been one of the most talked about figures in the NBA community all throughout this offseason because the Lakers decided to hire him as their head coach after they missed out on an opportunity to hire Dan. Uh, her, uh, her, can't even say the guy's name. The coach. So, so uh, you know, but a lot of there have been a lot of question marks surrounding uh, J.J. Reddick. The biggest one is this guy has no coaching experience whatsoever. He discusses that in his podcast, if you guys want to go listen to it, you guys can listen to it where he basically, you know, talks about some of the doubters and all of that. But then they got to the point where I think a lot of us were also curious about, which was how is Bronny James going to fit into the Lakers vision for going out there and capturing an NBA championship? And Zach Lowe went straight straight to the point. He's like, so what's going to happen with Bronny? Now, if you guys have heard, there have been some reports out there where they said, uh, uh, Bronny James, you should expect to see him st- start for the lakers or play for the lakers on opening night and zach lowe is like hey is there any truth to this how soon are we going to hear how soon are we going to see Bronny james and lebron james on the court together and jj reddick promptly decided to give him an answer but before we get into what jj had to say today's video is brought to you by sponsor prize picks which is the largest daily fantasy sports platform in north america Price Picks is America's number one daily fantasy sports app with over 5 million active members. Price Picks makes it easy to get real money action on sports and players you love. Pick more or less on two or more players in any sport to win up to 100 times your entry fee. For example, here's a possible winning player projection lineup. Tyreek Hill for more than 90 receiving yards and Dak Prescott for more than 263 passing yards. Josh Allen for less than 240 passing yards and CB Lamb for more than 96 receiving yards. And if you're like me and you want to play safe, you will love the new features Prize Picks invented. Flex plays. Flex pays are the safest way to play prize picks. You can still make a profit or win some money back, even if a couple of your picks don't hit. On top of this, prize picks puts their members first. So all withdrawals are fast, safe, and secure. When my picks hit, I can get my money in as quick as 15 minutes. So download the prize picks app today and use code CLNS to get $50 instantly when you play $5. That's code CLNS on prize picks to get $50 instantly when you play $5. You don't even need to win to receive the $50 bonus. It's guaranteed. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we want to do now is want to play what JJ Reddick had to say about Bronny James, and then want to come back uh, and, and continue on. Take a listen to him here. What is the plan uh, for Bronny? The plan for Bronny? Yeah, is he, I mean, is yeah. is the G League going to be a part of it? Is I know I think you've said that before, but like, yeah, I would, he... ex- I would, ex- I, look, I, we're, we 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 hired Zach Guthrie. Um, all we have talked about as your G League head coach, to be clear, as our G League head head coach Zach is working on finalizing his staff. All we've talked about um, in the interview process with him, and since he's he's been on board, is just creating synergy and integration. So the G League is not a demotion by any stretch. Um, we are in the same building. Like we should be the we should be the model for integration between the late you know the the NBA team and the G League team. I look at Zach as an extension of my staff. I look at that that team as an extension of our team. Um, I would expect us to use the G League for very specific reasons. And look, I I, I think. Ronnie is is a, is a young guy. I'm very high on him as a basketball player, um, and he's. I said this at his press conference. I said you know, he's kind of like our our first player that we get to you know mold and 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 help develop. And so 
we're going to look at the G League as a as a tool in our player development system. How much I, pressure is the wrong word? There's obviously going to be a craving of se- a sentimental craving for the first moment that father passes to son or son passes to father. Do you do you is that something we could see opening night? Like is that is that like do do you feel again pressure? I'm not pressure is not the right word, but do you feel? Do you feel that expectation from fans, from people who come up to you on the street? Like, oh, man, that's going to be so fun when that happens. And, and it could it happen right off the bat? Uh, yeah, nobody's nobody's really talked to me about that, like randos. No, no randos have brought that up. <laughs> people will ask, obviously, about Bronny and, and, and sort of, you know, what he's like as a player and all that stuff. But um, in terms of that moment, um, yeah, we've we've talked about it and we've thought about it and we'll get it done. Um, you know, I don't want to commit to anything right now, but um, that's going to happen. It's going to happen sooner rather than later. So you heard what JJ had to say. Here's what I think is going to happen with Bronny. I think Bronny is definitely going to be in a G League. I think he's a player that they're going to have to develop. I think I've heard uh, uh, what's his, his agent, Rich Paul, allude to this subtly. That, you know, he needs to develop and find his way uh, in the NBA. And they spoke about his defensive prowess and how he's going to have to really hang his hat on the defensive side of the floor. So he's, he's still rough around the edges and he's still going to need to improve uh, his basketball game. But that being said, I do believe that Bronny James is also going to play a few games with LeBron James. Because I believe that was a very big part in the Lakers deciding to draft Bronny James. They wanted to make history. They wanted to be the first organization to have a father and son on the same team playing at the same time. And then when you factor in, it's the Lakers. When you factor in that the fact that it's LeBron James, it means it's good. they're going to make a boatload of money. A lot of people are going to tune in to view the spectacle. It is going to be a money-making operation. So from the standpoint of the Lakers, if you're looking at it financially, it makes a lot of sense in terms of basketball. I don't really see it being a serious basketball thing or a serious basketball addition. I don't think Bronny James is going to come in and change life for the Lakers because I don't think any 55th pick really does that. Right. Especially not a player in the second round, the first round, probably second round. It rarely happens. Now you do have some moments where it happens occasionally, but not not that often. Right. And uh, given Bronny's uh, player profile, I don't see how he's going to be able to do that. But could he turn into a contributor for that team in the future? Absolutely. So my takeaway on this entire issue is simply this. Number one, uh, uh, this is a photo op. They definitely want to sell jerseys. They definitely want to make money. Let's not act like that's not a part of it. But I also believe that they want to find a way to develop Bronny's skill sets skill set i think they want to make him a better basketball player and he saw you see he has a guaranteed contract so i think he's going to be with the team for a little bit now what Bronny ends up becoming after lebron james retires we shall see that's going to be a totally different thing how will Bronny fare on another nba team that his father's not on these are things that we have to wait and see but as it stands right now Bronny's a laker i think we should expect him to play in some laker games but i also think he's going to be a g league player based off of what i understood from what their head coach, J.J. Reddick, had to say. So these are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section, and we'll catch you guys on the next show. Peace.